All right, guys. So welcome back to Call of the Wild. So as you can see from the title, something isn't right. Now, when we last left off, we basically took a picture for Don Miguel of his wife's memorial. Then what he wanted us to do was take down a red deer and a gold red deer at that, which we ended up doing. I didn't show you guys because we've done that plenty of times on the reserve already. So we took down a gold red deer and then he said, head up to the highest peak in the reserve, which is this one that we're on right now and take a picture of a male Ibex. Now the mission specifically is this one, just so you guys can watch out for it. It's called a crowning achievement. So Don Miguel says, I look forward to dining with you. I promise that next time we shall talk more. In the meantime, I have another challenge for you. If we're going to get Quattro Kalinas back on its feet, we need to showcase its unique spoils. Take a picture of a majestic male Ibex atop the peak of our reserve. Now it says, <laughs> reach the highest hill in Quattro Kalinas. Pretty straightforward. The next one though, take a picture of a male Ibex. Okay, this mission is broken. <laughs> <laughs> at least for me six hours i've spent six hours trying to get this done i have done every single conceivable way you guys can think of to get a picture of this ibex and this is no lie as well guys 200 pictures of male ibex i've taken 200 pictures of male ibex and the distances range from four meters to about 20 meters close proximity shots too full camera shots that like wasn't half of the picture with the animal was missing i mean some of them were but the ones which should have worked were all with inside the camera so let's just say this is the ibex right here you want to get the ibex right inside this square get a nice side profile shot and it should work at least that's what it always has been not in this case <laughs> Not on this mission. Don't even think about getting on an ATV and thinking, well, maybe if I crash into one, it might pin it against a rock or something, or, you know, maybe it'll get stuck on the terrain or something like that. I might get lucky with it. It doesn't work. If you go anywhere around this area with an ATV, those guys will just bolt as soon as you're in that 300 meter range. Even before, I think it's like for the Ibex, I would even be willing to say it's closer to 400 meter range when you come around here with an ATV. The second thing which I tried, which looked the more obvious one because we've done it before, is using one of these things to get the picture. It just straight up doesn't work. You try and take a picture from one of these tripods, it just doesn't work. It does not take. And that was the majority of the photos that I got because I had Ibex coming right up to the tripod because I was, I was in the need zones. And then for some reason, when I snapped the picture, and in some cases, like, I was this close. Like, I was up there, the Ibex were here, I was this close. And it still wouldn't take. Eventually, this is how I did it. I've been going to the same need zones like over here. And there's one over that side as well, which I like as well. I just sprayed and sprayed and sprayed scent elim. I don't know what it is about these animals. But they just seem so skittish that they don't come anywhere near the player. Unless you get into a bush. You go down. Sometimes the bushes as well. It says it's invisible, but it's actually not. So I went prone like this. And then you'll hear that telltale sign of the Ibex clicking their feet or walking closer. It's very distinct. So you'll hear it. Try and get a fix on where it's coming from. As soon as you hear the Ibex coming from the bushes, go up into crouch. Try and put your camera on your mouse key. This is what worked for me. I put my camera on a mouse bind and then got close enough. See why I'm still invisible? Zoomed in and click. That's how I got it. Now... That isn't to say, well, why didn't you do that in the first place? I did. <laughs> I did that so many times, and that's why it's ridiculous. Because I tried that as one of the first things. Because obviously, like, you usually take cover in bushes and stuff. For some reason, it worked towards the end, just as I was about to call it quits. We got there in the end. But that mission is a pain. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. It's that one. All right, let's move on. Let's see what Don Miguel wants from us next. <laughs> Spicing it up, Don Miguel says, it may interest you to know that we have scheduled the mayor to visit us so we can discuss the exact nature of the dealings we had with Vista Hispania. It is important to remind him that our reserve has not only the best game, but the best hunter too. Bag me three top quality hairs <laughs> by moonlight. Okay. This shouldn't be anywhere near as difficult as what I've just done, so everything else is just downhill. All right, let me switch out the rifle. And I'll be back with you guys in a second. <sighs> All 
All right, guys. So it's been roughly about an hour and a half since I last spoke to you all. And when we left, Don Miguel left us with a mission of taking out three rabbits at nighttime, making sure each of the rabbits were gold. I think it was for the chef to cook so they could have a dinner. Now, after that, Don Miguel basically said that he'd made peace with the wolves on the reserve and they're part of its beauty. So I came over to this side to get four individual photos of the wolves. I'll show you guys exactly where I got the rabbits first because it can be a little bit tedious. I got them between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. Over to this side of the map. Basically the furthest uh, northwest side. That's where I found all mine. Now there is a bit of a weird bug up there where the music keeps playing, but if you're patient enough and you find the need zones and resting zones, it should be pretty straightforward. The wolves on the other hand, not so much. For some reason, I struggled with this one a little bit, but I did find them in the top right corner. It was all one pack, and I just hid in a bush and then basically just snapped away. Just taking down this red there. Just trying to get some extra points. But now, we do have... Was that a heart shot? Yep. Now, we do have a very cool mission. So, I'll show you guys what it is. Throw up the hunter, mate. Harvest an Ibex from 400 meters away. Now... <laughs> I genuinely have no idea where we're going to take the shot from. I'm guessing it's kind of hinting to take it from the top of the hill because you get the best line of sight. Ooh, are you a wolf? You are a wolf. Level 7 too. Where's the rest of your pack? I'm yet to see a level 9 Iberian wolf on this reserve. I would love to see other fur types because I love the furs of the Iberian wolves. You may have heard me say it before. But I really, really do. I don't know if I'm a fan of them over the Yukon Wolves. The faces, the iconic face of the Yukon Wolf. I think I like more, but the Iberian Wolf fur. I, I think I like the fur more. I don't know. I like them both. I've, I've got a love for both of them. You guys know I love wolves. I know I've said it before, guys. But if anybody has seen the show, Band of Brothers... Let me know if you think that little song that they have, the jingle, reminds you of that. It really reminds me of it. It's such a good show as well. Oh, there we go. We've got some Ibex. Right, they're only a hundred and something meters out. So what does it... It doesn't say a male, does it? Harvest an Ibex. Okay, so it can be a male or a female. Oh, there we go. 300 meters. Oh, we could get this. 375. Keep going that way. If I move back a little bit. 390 meters. What about if I jump on this? I don't want to fall off. <laughs> 392. Now remember, I've got to compensate because it's never really right with that number that you get. So I'm on 395 now. I'm going to say that's about... I'm going to compensate for about 5 meters. So 398, 399. I need him to go to 405 the level 3 besieged Ibex. If you're wondering where I got that from, by the way, it's because I couldn't say that word. Besiege, I think it's called. Right, here we go. A switch to the Martinson. 300 meters and sniper shot. We nailed him. I think it was on the hind, but we nailed him. 75. And he's out of render. Was that enough? 405. Let me dial that back a tiny little bit. Oh, it's down. Wait, was... I was just moving back a tiny little bit and I just saw it as I pulled my binoculars up. I think we got it. Right, let me mark that. Right, so we should see it on the map. Place waypoint. Oh my god, I think we've got it already. I'm, maybe, maybe it could be sleeping. What are you doing? Let's see if we can get a look at him. Are you going to freak out? I do kind of want to drop you, but I also want to get a look at you as well. Let's see if we can get a nice picture. Let's switch to this. Look at him. I mean, he's floating, but he's on a rock. Look at those horns. Oh, my God. You know what the only thing I can think of? <laughs> I know we've said it before, like in Lord of the Rings, if you guys know who Gimli is, I can just imagine Gimli riding the back of one of them, holding onto the horns like motorbike handles and just charging into battle with them. <laughs> Right, let's take him out. Is he going down? 0 0.25? I think that we did drop that Ibex over there because that's the same animation. All right, let's have a look at what we got. Just a silver. 
We'll take it. All right, let's go see what we got. Okay, so here we go. First attempt. I'm not holding my breath because I've been disappointed before when I take these kind of shots. But that does look quite a distance away, doesn't it? Look at that. Top of the tower. 409 meter shot. We did it. I hit it right in its coccyx, but we did it. You can see when I rushed the shot, I was aiming for like back here somewhere near the lung. And I just aimed a little bit too far to the left. And it caught it literally right down in the coccyx. 409.87 I actually think that is was my I think it was I always get confused 408 9 or 12 was my longest meter shot and it was on Leighton Lake so I mean I don't know I will say though that you can definitely get longer on this reserve clearly because of the the angles that you can get you can get a lot of height and see a lot of distance on this reserve have we pleased Don Miguel a record that I've held for over 30 years, and suddenly it's gone in a bang. Well, if I could hit a target from far away, my beloved's true skill was in getting extremely close without startling the creature. Before taking the shot with a bow, I could never manage it. Can you? So they basically want to get up close and personal with the bow. Right, let's see how close. Harvest a wolf killed from 30 meters or less. A wolf? Oh, that's going to be painful. I mean, that's a cool mission to do with a bow, but that's definitely painful. There we go. 30, 28 meters. Let's get it to 25. Got to sleep, wolf. There we go. Okay, that took a lot longer than I wanted it to, just because the areas where I was heading, I would find a bunch of wolves, and then they would just run as soon as I had a line of sight on them. So, basically, where I had to head to was this area here. Don't know if you guys know exactly where that is on the map. I'm having real bad trouble pronouncing these names, so I'm trying to show you as much of the map as possible, but there we go. Let's see if we did it. Let's see if we made him proud. 25 meters away on distance and we pretty much hit everything so liver stomach intestines lung all right let's accept that the true grand slam all right so this means get every ibex right i think it does anyway i'm fairly certain that the grand slam refers to getting every single ibex do you think you have what it takes to complete the true grand slam four different types of ibex all of them prime examples of their species I've managed it, as has my grandfather. But most of those who tried, failed. Right, let's see what the actual mission is. Okay, so we need to get a gold besieged Ibex, or besieged Ibex. We need to get a gold Ronda Rousey Ibex, gold Grados Ibex, and a gold Southeastern Ibex. Okay, so all he wants is a gold. I mean, it shouldn't be too difficult. Now that I've said that, you know exactly what's going to happen. But I'm going to go from the top all the way around, clockwise motion, each of the hills, which is why I did on day one. So... Hopefully we'll get what we need, so I'll be back with you guys in just a second. Twenty-five. Zero. Ugh. You know what? I was going to let you... If you come anywhere near me, I'm going to... What you get your friend head but <gasps> wait what did you guys see that it went down like it was a kill shot and then got up like it was nothing <laughs> certain times when you get that in call of the wild it's a nice surprise yep you're yeah you're really stuck <laughs> i'm so sorry little guy <laughs> your misery where'd you go what you do? You did it too? I thought I got you in the heart. No. Go down. Okay, you're not getting up from that one. <laughs> Besieged Ibex down. All right. Where was the first shot? Oh, it was just to the right of the heart. Second one was lung straight through. So I'm hoping. I don't know. The, the percentage dropped quite slowly. So we'll see. Nice looking Ibex though. There we go. Okay, there's the first one that we've got. So, male, level four. Besiege. Besiege? Ibex, besieged. We'll go with besieged. All right. Except, right, there's the first one. 
All right, just slowing down a little bit. Just see if we can get eyes on anything just before we actually go over the top of the hill. This is just reminding me as well. I don't know why this just reminded me. I think it's because of the forest, but I tend to let you guys know when I've watched like shows or movies and stuff. Well, lately I've just finished watching The Witcher. And I think if you're a fan of the books or the game, then maybe you'll enjoy it. Maybe you'll enjoy it a lot more than I did. I did enjoy it. I mean, don't get me wrong. It was a cool show. The fight scenes, the choreography and the fight scenes in that show are just at top level, like 10 out of 10. And 25, 0, down. Hopefully that's a gold. If not, then I can just stay on the group. Oh, we actually didn't get a double pen. We got that right lung and just nicked the liver. This guy's hell bent on staying head on. He doesn't want to give me that side shot. If he comes out there, that's perfect. That's my window. There we go. 50, 25, 0, down. That has to be a gold. I'm not going to lie. That felt good. Especially seeing as though these guys made me wait six hours to get a photo of one of them. There we go. We got it. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. 887, not too bad either. A little bit higher than I wanted it, but we'll take it. All right, so what does that leave us? We have the Grados. Okay, this is actually my favorite one. So I'm going to head to the southeast, sorry, southwest of the map, and I'll see you guys in just a second. There he is. Okay, I thought I saw a four. Here we go. 75. Nope. Okay, well, I thought I'd just take a chance there. I know which way they're going, and I'm not even in the zone yet where I know a big group of them will be. I was just about to collect this outpost, and I glanced to my right, and I saw the Ibex running. I was like, hold on a second. That looks like a four. And it was, and I whiffed it. <laughs> it's not a big deal, though. <laughs> even though I just messed up that four, and I don't know where it's gone. I'm not even bothering to find it. <laughs> you guys wondering as well. Why I do keep those in the videos, I've seen a couple of comments like that. There's not too many of them, but I have seen a couple of comments saying, why do you show ones you mess up? I really don't care. I like showing you guys when I mess up or when I whiff a shot and stuff. We all do it. These are definitely my favorite ones. 141 meters out. All right, that should be a straightforward shot. Here we go. He turned just as I took the shot, you son of a bitch. Right, here we go. Oh, we did get a gold with it. Okay. I got really, really lucky with that. Look at that. I was aiming on the side, and then it just spun last second. Look at that thing, though. Yeah, this is this one's definitely the coolest one, in my opinion. Might not have the biggest horns, but... I don't know. There's something really cool looking about this one. We have put your pictures up on our website, and word of mouth is starting to spread that new records are being set out here. Our booking office phone has been ringing all day. To celebrate, I want you to take some time and really find something to challenge yourself. What? Are you giving me another challenge, Don Miguel? Have I not proven myself yet? So the jewel in the crown is to find a diamond animal. And it's not a specific animal as well, which is nice. So we can take our time with this one. So before we finish today, I just wanted to say a couple of things. I'm trying to be as sincere as possible. So you guys know this is from the bottom of my heart. So... Thank you to everyone who tunes into the videos, everyone who sticks around commenting on the videos, joining the Discord, or even just sending me pictures of stuff on Twitter or just having a conversation. I said it very early on. You guys are literally the reason this channel is here and why I continue to do this. It puts a massive smile on my face when a video goes out and you guys really enjoy it. I love nothing more than doing this. I apologize if I don't say it enough, but again, from the bottom of my heart, whether you are an old subscriber or a new subscriber, thank you. Obviously, as of late, we've been playing a lot of Call of the Wild just because I've been really enjoying the Quattro Kalinas reserve and you guys seem to be too. But I do have a lot of cool stuff planned for 2020. So if you're sticking around, hopefully you guys can be part of that. Also, Christmas is like a day away. So I hope you all have a fantastic Christmas and an even better new year. So again, guys... Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.